Hey everyone, Brian here with SampleLibraryReview.com and today we're going to check out Synchron Duality Strings Virtuoso from Vienna Symphonic Library. Now we've done the Synchron Regular and Synchron Sordino, now we're going to talk about Virtuoso. It's a new expansion or extension of the previous Duality Strings libraries. It is going to cost 295 euros for the standard library and 445 euros for the full library with all the mic positions and everything. Storage requirements are 35 gigs for the standard and 70 gigs for the full. Now, while all the core articulations were in the regular duality strings, this one is going to have more tempo synced phrases. So it's got runs, arpeggios, rises and falls, glissandos, and then short notes, um, saltando and ricochets, and then crescendos and decrescendos. So a little bit of the recorded dynamics there as well. All right, so I didn't really do a full demo for this one um, because it's you know more of a specialized library. However, real quick, I just wanna show you something I do really like about this, and that's they've recorded crescendos and decrescendos, which is something I liked a lot in Synchron Elite Strings and Synchron Strings Pro that the duality strings did not have. So I'm glad that we're getting it here. So if we go here in the dynamics, we get crescendos, short, medium, long, and then diminuendos, I call them decrescendos, but the diminuendo in, in short, medium, and long. So you can do things like this, where I go into my sound variations on Studio One or your expression maps on Cubase and have a short crescendo and then transition that into a diminuendo and you get these nice swells and it rebows when it transitions into a diminuendo it sounds nice and realistic as opposed to using a sustain and riding the mod wheel or cc01 and then for the second part of the phrase i just want to show a little bit of the looped arpeggios as well Not really a full demo, but I at least wanted to show how you can program in those sort of dynamic swells there, which is pretty cool. So let's go in and check everything out. Now you see all these empty slots. Those are so that it basically integrates with um, regular duality strings. So if you were to go to regular and virtuoso merged, you'd get something that looks like that so that as you can see the short notes from virtuoso which is down these three down here are all as part of obviously integrated with duality strings if you don't have regular duality strings then it's just going to be these empty slots there and you can you know edit that to your heart's content just by deleting it like that. So we're gonna go in and check out just virtuoso strings and the different new articulations.
So I'm my DAW's tempo is at 110. So these tempo synced um, phrases can also be synced to your tempo. Um, if you go in here and edit and hit stretch and then sync tempo one time and there it goes to 110. Now, the uh, final thing before we check out mic positions and mic mixes, you heard the release there. You can release on the upper note, the lower note, or just cut the release. So it jumps back to either the lower note. As soon as I let go, it goes back to that lowest note of the arpeggio. And this one. So depending, if you cut off in the middle of the phrase, it's going to sound unnatural. So it jumps back to that lower or upper note there. Um, okay, let's go to just some, I guess, yeah, some short notes and check out the mic mixes as well. So just really quick um, showcasing of, especially when to do the difference between the, the stage B. So stage A is the synchron stage, and then stage B is the um, silent stage, something, it's a, not the silent stage, but it's in a studio. Um, and so dark and bright, obviously, this one's nice and warm, and this one has, you know, a little bit more of a thin sound, but it adds that top end, and then mixing it with the main um, mics sounds really, really good. Um, so that's obviously the whole duality thing, but we've looked at mic positions on the other libraries as well. So really nice library some of these i really love um glissandos and then runs and what i really like is let's say this like being able to loop this uh, little things like that um and of course with the runs and everything but stuff like that is stuff that it's it's so hard to program it in and to get it to sound realix, realistic so i love having things like that the dynamics are a nice touch as well um the swells you can program those in crescendos and diminuendos and you can also do it with the rises and falls i think it's a great collection of content um, and it, it is more of an addition to, of course, the regular duality strings. So it's up to you if you think you need this kind of stuff or not. Um, I think it's really nice to have. Uh, so you heard all of the different articulations here. Let us know what you think in the comments, and I will see you guys next time. Thanks so much.